And welcome back to 101.5 FM with Tracy and the Big D with Country Comedy and Crossover right through till 8 o'clock and then Nick Irby will be in to take over. Now, legless and dateless. Well, you mightn't have been dateless because I was with you, but you were a little bit legless a couple of weeks ago, Dales. I was busy. I had things to do. <laughs> things to do. Things to drink. Things I imagine to drink. that's what it's like in uh, in the country parts of Western Australia. Oh, very much so. Hot, dry. You'd need an ale or two, You'd wouldn't you? You'd need an ale, and I think the mining boom over there is having a big success on uh, on some people. So why don't we find out what's happening in Western Australia and catching up with from one of the local bands in Western Australia doing some big things around the place is the Renegades, and Gary joins us now. Hey, Gary, how are you? Good, mate. How are you going? Yeah, really well. Uh, it's fair to say that uh, that a few ales are consumed in uh, in Western Australia these days. Oh, just the odd few. It's uh, it's all going off over here. Uh, now, talk about going off is legless and dateless. Who came up with this idea? What a fantastic song! Yeah, we uh, we we sort of picked up a theme coming back from gigs. <laughs> Uh, gigs down in, uh, you know, coming back from Western Australian shows and there's a lot of people just walking all over the street at the end of the night. And you know what it's like, just carnage everywhere. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and the, the thing, it's kind of wrote itself. One of the guys in the back of the bus said, look at everybody, they're just legless and dateless. And the light bulb went off. We went, oh, that's it. That's the song. So we, we went for it. Now, your, uh, your area that you cover from Albany to Broome, for those, uh, for those here on the east coast of Australia that aren't familiar with the west coast, that, that's a fair bit of territory. It's a lot of territory. We flew up today uh, from Perth just to Broome, so we're up here sunning our pristine bodies up on the beach at the moment and uh, about to do a show tonight. So it's, uh, it's a long, long travel to a lot of gigs here, but it's worth it, you know, well, to get out and play. Gary, actually, it's Gary Gigolo. Yes. Yeah, we're going to call it a giggle. Anyway, uh, the beginning of early in the song, we have um, we're having a last look into that looking glass. Well, what about you guys? You know, it's just not just our ladies that that get that looking glass not looking so good by the end of the night. There's a few of you guys that aren't looking too good. Oh, they're not looking good at all. Usually, uh, you know, everyone starts the night off with their bow ties and shirts and suits, <laughs> and then by the end of the night, there's not much left of it. Actually, by the end of the night, you guys are starting to look pretty good to us girls. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, hey, you've, you've, you've taken the mickey out of us for that whole song, but I tell you what, a lot of what you say in that song is very, very true. Well, it is, and that's that's the thing that went off with us. We thought, well, you know, it's just a statement of what, what we see every night, and it's not a, having a go at it, it's just what we see, and it's, it's a light-hearted look at it. It is, and we've given it a bit of a quite quite a bit of a spin here, actually, at one hundred one point five, because it is um, one of those songs where it is country rock, and it has got a bit of comedy in there, and it's got a great sound behind it. You must be getting a lot of um, a lot of notoriety from when you're out there actually doing the gigs. Do you, I bet you put that in later in in your gig set, don't you? Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do it. No, it's it's good. It's been getting a, a fair bit of airplay, so we're we're really happy with that, and and we're up here promoting it up in Broome this week, doing some in-store uh, shows tomorrow, and it's all good. You know, we're we're happy to just be out promoting something. What's the country music market like in uh, in Western Australia? Uh, firstly, in in the city of Perth, and then regional Western Australia. It, it's small, but they're loyal. Um, if they, they get hold of a band and they like it, they'll, they'll follow you to the end of the world. Um, but it is small, and as you said, we have to travel a lot of miles to get to play to these people. But when we're there, they, they love it. They absolutely adore us when we're there. So, and they're just happy to have bands come to them. So it's, it's a good thing, you know. So where's the, where's the most out-of-the-way gig that the Renegades have done? Oh, probably we well where we wrote the song from was a place called Mika Sara. Oh, yes. in the middle of Western Australia. Just nothing around. But it's a it's a town that, that just seems to work. Uh we go there all the time and play and yeah, that I I guess, you know, up in uh, Newman on the back of a truck playing out in the middle of a, a rodeo, you know, with dust and sand all over us, which is, again kind of relates to the song. But how good that's they're the best gigs though, aren't they? They are. They they love it. It's that's the ones you do. We we touch base with the mining companies over here, and uh, you know try and create a bit of goodwill with the towns and the between the mining companies, and they throw on a big rodeo, and we go up and play for them, and and they love. You know, it's their only entertainment that they get. Oh, captive audience, see. 
It is. Now, listen, you guys um, all got together in 2007 or 2008? That's right, yeah, 2008. So have we still got the same lineup? Because we've got Damien on drums, Kevin guitar and vocals, Dave on vocals and guitar, we also have Jeff on keyboard. Keyboards, that's right. So we still have the same lineup? Same lineup, yeah, we're stuck with each other, unfortunately. Awesome work. Yeah, no, we're all good. We get on well and it's a good, fun band to be in. We're, and we try and carry that over to the stage as well, you know. It's a good, light, good, upbeat, happy show. I would imagine, um, and of course we're a long way away over here in the um, uh, in southeast Queensland from where you guys are. But yep. the, the impression that we get there's uh, there's plenty of uh, money being splashed around uh, with things like you say the mining companies and the mining boom in Western Australia. Is that good for business in a musical band? It is actually. Um, as, as I say, there's been a few problems with the fly in, fly out situation, and people, you know, the town's getting a little worried about certain things not getting the respect from the mining companies in the town. So they're throwing on a lot of sort of uh, functions to try and create that goodwill. And uh, that that's where we've come into it. We've been able to sort of hook into that and be the band that they've got up for those sort of uh, shows, which, you know, we, we would love to do that all over Australia for all the mining companies because, uh, as you say, that's where the money is. Renegades, the miners, the, yeah. the country minor country music. Oh, yeah. yeah, but then you'd have He's to sing everything in a minor, something. wouldn't yeah. you? Everything would have to be done in a minor key, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, very good. So are we going to be looking at uh, Renegade coming over to Queensland? We're hoping to. We are really hoping to, and that's what this song's all about, let it, getting it out at the moment to get released. We've, we're just trying to get it all around Australia now and see how, how we go and see if we can get accepted in uh you know, over there. Yeah, we'll check their tour dates. Uh, Emerald, Blackwater, Mount Isa. I reckon that's where they're going. <laughs> yeah, all the mining states. Yeah, all the mining states. Yeah. yeah. If you know anyone there, tell them we're available. Yeah, yeah in my head, we've got a, a, a festival that happens here once a year in May, and it's um, my favourite night of it is a Sunday night. It's a Blaze concert, and I can just see you guys up there. With, we've got these two big bonfires there going out there, and, and I'm thinking, oh, I can see the renegades up there. That'd be lovely. That'd be awesome. We'd love to do that. All right. Well, that sort of thing. We'll we'll do what we can. We got we got the Wolverines here this year. Uh, we promised we'd get them there, and we got the Wolverines there. So we'll get the Renegades there next year. How's that? Yeah, keep the West Australian vibe going. Gonna, Brilliant. Yeah, exactly. Outstanding. Exactly right. All right, uh, Gary, mate. We, we time is on the wing, and we know uh, you got to get you got a gig to get to. So um, we'll let you go. Go back and enjoy the uh, the lifestyle of Broom. You must that must be hard to take too. Oh, it's, it's extremely hard. You know, looking on Cable Beach this afternoon after the flight it was, it was really tough. But, you know, we've got the work to do tonight, so we'll be right. Oh, you keep that up, you're going to be dateless anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mate, great to catch up with you. We look forward to uh, to keeping an eye on your music. If you hear the Renegades, make sure you get out there, support their music. Have you get an opportunity if you are uh, out there touring about in Western Australia, get the opportunity to see the Renegades. Why not go over and say, "Hey, I heard you on one hundred one point five FM," and uh, that'll give them a great buzz. Gary, thanks for your time. What are we going to go out with, Chris? Well, we're going to go out with Legless and Dateless, but check them out on their website, RenegadeWA.com.au. Thanks, Gary, and we'll catch up with you soon. We hope. Thank you. Bye-bye.